Salve te omnes. This is a short lesson on the morphology of the Latin subjunctive. There are four tenses of the subjunctive mood in Latin. They are the present tense, the imperfect tense, the perfect tense, and the pluperfect tense. There is no future or future perfect subjunctive in Latin. We'll start with the present subjunctive, active voice. The present subjunctive's formation depends upon which conjugation the verb is. So we'll start with the first conjugation. The first conjugation, for example, a verb like amo, amare, amawi, amatos, where the principal parts end in o, are, i, us, that's how you tell it's a first conjugation. The subjunctive is formed by taking the present stem of the verb, that is the second principal part minus the re. Then you will change the stem's letter a because once you chop off this re, what's left, the present stem, will always end in the letter a. That's how you know it's a first conjugation. So you change that a to an e. So there's a vowel shift. And then the active voice personal endings are added. So it looks something like this. We have amo, amare, amawi, amatus. The second principal part, amare. Chop off the re. Change that a to an e. And add the personal endings, m, s, t, mus, tis, unt. So it will look something like this, and I've included the indicative for a comparison. So in the, in the present indicative, we have amo, amas, amat, amamus, amatis, amant. The subjunctive, amem, ames, amet, amemus, ametis, amant. You can see the difference. It looks different. Kind of sticks out, looks odd. For the passive voice, same thing, take the present stem of the verb by taking the second principal part and chopping off the RE, changing the A to an E, only this time, for the passive voice, add the passive voice personal endings, which are R, RIS, TUR, MUR, MINI, UNTUR. So it looks something like this and I have included the passive indicative in the present tense for comparison. Amor, amaris, amator, amamor, amamini, amantor. The subjunctive looks like amer, ameris, amator, amemor, amemini, amentor. So hopefully you can see the difference between the two. As for the other conjugations, the second, the third, the third IO, and the fourth conjugations, the present subjunctive is formed in the following way. So basically a non-first conjugation verb. You take the present stem of the verb and you add A, the letter A to that stem, and then you add active voice personal endings. Now the passive voice will be formed in the exact same way, just exchange the active voice personal endings for the passive voice personal endings. So for example, we'll start with a second conjugation verb. Teneo, tenere, tenui, tentus. You can tell this is a second conjugation verb by the eo, ere, e, us. So for a second conjugation verb like teneo, you find the present stem the same way as the first conjugation by going to the second principal part, tenere, chopping off the re, add a to the stem, so we get tenea as the stem, and then add the personal endings. So we have teneam, teneas, teneat, teneamus, teneatis, teneant. Now for the passive, you'll exchange MST mustis unt with rarestor mormini untor. So you have tenear, tenearis, teneator, teneamor, teneamini, teneantor. 
The third conjugation, like ago, agare, egi, octus, now we shift gears a little bit. The present stem of a third conjugation is found by going to the first principal part and chopping off the letter O. So we have ago, chop off the O, we get to the stem og, and then add the letter A. So we have aga, we have agam, agas, agat, agamus, agatis, agant. And once again, for the passive voice, exchange the active voice endings for passive voice endings. So we get agar, agaris, agator, agamor, agamini, agantor. For the third I.O., you can tell it's a third I.O. by the E.O., ere, e, us, not to be confused with the third conjugation's mere O, ere, e, us. So it has the E.O., that's why it's called third I.O., Go to the first principal part, just like the third. Go to the first principal part, chop off the O. The stem is copy and add A. So we have copiam, copias, copiat, copiamus, copiatis, copiant. And the passive would be copiar, copiaris, copiator, copiamor, copiamini, copiantor. Fourth conjugation like audio, audire, audiwi, auditus. So, just like the third and the third I.O., go to the first principal part to get the present stem, chop off the O, audi, add the letter A, and add the personal endings. Audiam, audias, audiat, audiamus, audiatis, audiant. And the passive would be Audiar, audiaris, audiator, audiamor, audiamini, audiantor. And that's it for the present subjunctive, active, and passive for all conjugations. The imperfect subjunctive, active, and passive, this is the same for every conjugation. So for every verb, the formation will be the same. Personal endings will be added to the present infinitive. That is the second principal part of the verb. On a side note, if the verb is deponent, you should turn it active before adding the personal endings. So for conor, conari, conatus sum, take the infinitive conari, make it look active, conare, and then add the personal endings. So polliceri, turn it into pollicere, and mori, morere. So we'll go ahead and do this easy with amo, amare, amavi, amatus. Take the present active infinitive, amare, the second principal part, and add personal endings. M, S, T, mustis, unt. You get amarem, amares, amaret, amaremus, amaretis, amaret. For the passive, just add passive voice personal endings. And you get amarer, amareres, amaretur. Amaremor, amaremini, amarentor. For the perfect subjunctive, active voice, you're going to take, uh, take the verb, take its perfect stem by going to the third principal part, chopping off the letter I, and then adding the following endings. It's the tense marker eri, E-R-I, and then M-S-T, mustesunt. So all in all, you get errem, eris, eret, erimus, eretis, errant, added to the perfect stem. So amaverem, amaveris, amaveret, amaverimus, amaveritis, amaverent. For the passive, you're going to take the fourth principal part, amatus, and treating it like an adjective of the first and second declension, so it ends in us for the masculine, a for the feminine, um for the neuter singular, letter i, e for the masculine plural, a, e pronounced i for the feminine plural, and a, letter a for the neuter plural, you're going to give it the helping verb present subjunctive of sum, which is sim, sis, sit, simus, sitis, sint. So all in all, it looks like amatus a um sim, amatus a um sis, 
amatus a um sit, amati i a simus, amati i a sitis, amati i a sint. It's basically the same as the indicative, only in the indicative you don't use the present subjunctive of sum. In the indicative you use the indicative present of sum. So you're used to seeing amatus a um sum, amatus a um s, amatus a um est, etc. Only this time you've exchanged the indicative present of sum with the subjunctive present of sum. Sim sis sit, simus sitis sint. Remember that amatus a um, Amatus is the masculine singular, amata would be the feminine singular, and amatum would be the neuter singular. You must change this in the plural. Amati for the masculine plural, amatai for the feminine plural, and amata for the neuter plural. And finally, the pluperfect subjunctive, active and passive. You're going to take the verb, go to the perfect stem, which is the third principal part, you're going to chop off the letter I. Then you're going to add isse, so you're going to get the perfect active infinitive. I went ahead and added the isse here, and then personal endings are added to this. So all in all, you get isem, isses, iset, isemus, isetis, isent. If it's easier for you to go amawise and then add mst mustisunt, go ahead. The result will be the same. Amawisem, amawises, amawiset, amawisemus, amawisetis, amawisent. For the passive, it's like the perfect passive, only instead of the present subjunctive of sum, we're going to use the imperfect subjunctive of sum. So, essem, esses, esset, essemus, essetis, essent. So, all in all, we have amatus a um essem, amatus a um esses, amatus a um esset, amati i a essemus, amati i a essetis, and amati i a essent. Remember that this is the singular, us, a, um, for the masculine, feminine, and neuter. This is the plural, masculine, feminine, and neuter.